First things first, let's talk about the unknown. Now, you might, maybe you think I'm think maybe you think I'm talking about this unknown from the uh, the Willy Wonka nonsense that happened a week or two ago. Just to quickly refresh your memory. What is that? It's the unknown. No. It's the unknown. No, I am not talking about this unknown. Unfortunately. Though this was a lot of fun. Did you guys know that there's actually another meme of the unknown? Oh yeah, those of you who didn't know. Those of you who didn't know, by the way. Yeah. So there was the... Go watch my video on it. There's the fake Willy Wonka experience. Yep. Uh, the fake Willy Wonka experience with a villain called The Unknown, an evil chocolate maker who lives in the walls, and terrible actors. Once more. What is that? It's The Unknown. It's the, what is that, guys? It's The Unknown. Oh, my God. Well... We are not talking about this unknown. Not today. A different unknown. Five dollars from Sean King. I started sculpting a miniature. I want to send to you for the PO box closest. Thanks very much, man. We will open a new a, a new PO box when we move, though. So don't worry about that. But thank you. So have you guys heard about the other unknown? I've uh, I've got the Know Your Meme page up, so we can actually go over it a little bit. But yeah, there's a character in Dead by Daylight called The Unknown, okay? And here it is. It has no gender, as it's an inhuman entity that adapts its appearance as needed. And it has like a weird, strange, elongated neck and a very creepy face. There it is. Yep. And this, this is The Unknown. Well, um, a trans woman named Zoe Alexandria voiced the unknown in Dead by Daylight. Which is kind of, and it's kind of become a controversy. And maybe I can show you why it's become a controversy, okay? So, the Dead, the Dead by Daylight, this is from Pink News, Dead by Daylight developer accused of transphobia by the trans voice actor who says that she was tricked. So, People have criticized the cheerleader character skin for perpetuating negative trans stereotypes, including the voice actor who is a trans woman. So you have. So <laughs> we want representation. No, not like that. So, yeah. Uh, new Dead by Daylight killer is a deformed freak in a skirt. Voiced by a trans voice actor. Also a zombie that died by hanging which is why the neck is elongated. <laughs> what in the ever living heck did the devs mean by this? This got 4.4 4 million, 4.4 4 million views. And so here's <laughs> basically this took off. All right. And people started making fun of them. And also leftoids jumped in and leftoids jumped in and started saying shit like, this is transphobic. Is this what you think trans women are? <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, Zoe Alexandria, the voice actress, the trans vo voice actress who, who did the voice, after this blew up, uh, had this to say about it. And they posted this on their Twitter account. <clears throat> Regarding my recent viral witch hanging, I voiced the, the character, The Unknown. In Dead by Daylight. At the time of voicing, it was a great experience. I was told at the time I was voicing the character and that there was there was no model and that the character was, was supposed to be amorphous. They had no model design before I recorded my lines. So it's my assumption that, that the design... Well, so it's my assumption that the design team took my medical history and my ability to, to use multiple voices as an opportunity to create character models that encapsulate my medical history as trans... And capitalized on and capitalize on catering to the transphobic community. I was tricked into voicing a stereotype. Since yesterday, I have been virally harassed for being trans by thousands of people. Hold on. Now, gotta be honest. 
when I look at this, I don't see a trans woman. Um, if you do to the point that you think this is a stereotype, the problem might be you, <laughs> you know, cause I don't, I don't view, I don't see this as a, as a trans person. All right. But okay. Okay. Many folks in the trans community are up in arms over this and rightfully so. I feel that reparations from the team that deliberately tricked me is the only logical next choice of action. I am so upset, so infuriated that people are complaining, tra are comparing trans people to these clearly transphobic character skins. If I had any idea of the follow that would have happened after simply voicing a character, I never would have in the first place. Now listen, reparations, trans reparations, really? So, hold on. You voice a character in a horror game where the enemies, because it's a horror game, they're all kind of grotesque and weird. And because it went viral in a community you don't like, you think that you are deserved reparations from the developer. I mean, you already got paid for your fucking work, lady. You already did the voice. Like, you. Th this just really sounds like, pay me more money. <laughs> pay me more money. Just give, give me money. It's a fucking grift, guys. Let me personally apologize to anybody who has been a victim of transphobia due to this release. Please know that you are loved and you're valid. As for me, I am not okay. This has ruined my reputation, has put me physically at risk for being attacked in public if anybody recognizes my face or voice. There was no diversity consultants on this project. Bring in Sweet Baby Inc. The company knew that making a stereotypical man in a dress as a character and having a trans voice actress voice it would bring lots of money and people back to the game. I'm not dumb. I know how marketing works. This seems to be a huge ploy in the trans community, along with myself. We're the victims. You were the victims for doing a fucking voice and having it go viral. Okay. Okay, dude. Okay. And the worst part is, is like, this chick, she's not even like one of, one of the Gigahons. You know what I mean? Like here, is this is this it? No, that's that's Ricky Burbrook. Here, here she is. Like, she passes. She's not a like, she's she's not like a man in a dress with a beard. She passes. Okay, you see. You're like, I found out today someone I whoever this person is. I don't know who this person is. But I, I just I just had to I just wanted to find these. I found out today that someone I knew in high school voiced the unknown. I mean that's cool. The unknown voice by, by Zoe Alexandria. Like, she passes, dude. Yeah. She, like, she she scrubbed clean her YouTube channel. Because, you know. Oh, yeah, these are, like... She, she does, she does like, like, voice feminization lessons. But, like... Yeah, like... This is not, like, so, some ugly dude with a beard and a dress, guys. Like... She looks pretty feminine. Can, can I get, can I get close to the picture? Like, just so you guys can see. Like, she looks pretty feminine. Is there a voice clip of the unknown? Yeah, I think there is. So, so basically, the, the point is, is that this just seems to be just like a lot of insecurity on her part, which to be fair, to be fair, uh, lots of trans women, even the most passing trans women like Taftaj, for example, have a lot of insecurity about how well do they actually pass. But, um, like a lot of this is like, oh no, but you know, you, you pass, so it's fine. It's uh, basically like you don't, like, sh okay, here, you know what, if, if you guys are. If you guys are out, out here saying, Dev, she doesn't pass. I can see right through it. My, my gaydar is going off. She does not look like this. All right. There's a huge fucking gulf. Hold on. A huge gulf between whatever the fuck this is and this person. Obviously, guys. Like, like, calm the fuck down, okay? You know what? Let's see if I can actually like find more of her. We're, we're going to do a transvestigation, fellas. It's time. Oh, 
hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. We're transvestigating everyone. Yeah, like, this is not some grotesque individual. They just seem to be like a regular person, you know? This is a YouTube thumbnail of a video that's been deleted, but... You know what I mean? The dev has spent so long in, on the internet and playing Nintendo games. I live with Naomi, guys! <laughs> Digging up dead names is time for the transvestigation. <laughs> but no, basically, like... You know, this this person... Just a normal-ass person, dude. So, I don't really get the whole... Uh, the whole insecurity about it. I mean... Uh, I would. Obviously. So anyway, okay, let's see. Here's Zoe's next post. There have been a recent <laughs> dev likes what he sees. Yes. Okay. Hold on. There have been a re here. Here's here's the next. Okay, hold on. Later that day, Alexandria made a follow-up post on X, clarifying her original statement, writing, "I wasn't kept in the loop with the final characters." Okay. Okay. This is why I was upset. The skins themselves were never the issue. The lack of communication was. She discouraged people from participating in boycotting behavior and said they are not transphobic. So she actually turned around. So Zoe Alexandria, despite what she wrote in this post, turned around and said, stop boycotting the company. They're not transphobic. I take back what I said. Because <laughs> I guess she, want, she didn't want to be fucking sued. Okay. So let's see if we can open this one up too. There has been a recent misunderstanding. Anybody that thinks that the skins are going away is not in the loop. Behavior is allegedly aware of the mass transphobic remarks and memes being made, and the gaming community is not a reflection of the game developers. I wasn't kept in the loop with what the characters would final would look like. I was given an ambiguous design description for the part. Even though I tried my best to find out more, I was continually asking for more info. That wasn't possible. This is why I was upset. The skins themselves were never the issue. Lack of communication was. Please stop boycotting behavior. I think behavior is the company. They are not transphobic. It's wrong to take bits of info and jump to your own conclusions. Behavior is a good company and has been nothing but kind and supporting through this tough process of receiving mass harassment for my involvement in the character. Leave it alone. Okay, fair enough. But then why are you asking for fucking reparations, bitch? I feel that reparations from the team that deliberately tricked me is the only logical next choice of action. You walked this back real fucking quick, didn't you? I have a feeling that if she said nothing, this would have blown over. Oh, absolutely, Panty Ranger. 100%. 100%. Fucking hell. Anyway, I think there are some... This guy here posted a video that has some of the voice clips in it. So I guess we'll just take a look. It's probably going to be a little bit spooky because it is, you know, a scary game. Let's see. I'll turn it down a bit. Oh, Kraken. <laughs> Blip. Yep. Huh. Well, there we go. That's the voice. Oh, no. <laughs> oh god. Oh, she's getting her brain sucked. So yeah. Like 
I can see why people are memeing this as a trans woman, because if you go to like the very, very, you know, anti-trans meme 4chan-esque side of the internet, you find a lot of memes about like just these grotesque creatures who are like, I'm trans, and they're like demons. I, I get the joke. It's really, it's a really mean joke, but it's funny. So I get it. But you have to, to, to conflate that with... You know, this woman just seems, just seems nutty. It seems insecure on her part. And it seems like the company or, or the, or like the trans activists just don't get the fucking joke on their part. You know what I mean? Because this is a, this is a, a, a this is a very mean and cruel joke, but it is ultimately a joke. Like no one is comparing this to this. All right. Do you guys know what I mean? Like, am I making any sense at all to you guys? Does it make any sense? Okay, what else did I find? Right, voice direction for, for the unknown. Okay, this is... Okay, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. And then, of course, like this, this was Ricky Berwick's take, which is actually like, it's, again, it's a funny joke, right? Your profile pic, it's like a cute trans girl with like the, the trans colored hair. And then you in real life, you know, I, I, I get it. I get it. It's funny, you know? Ha ha ha. It's funny. But to turn these jokes and to say that now it's transphobia because you're being made fun of, even if you're being made fun of in a cruel way, I think that's a bit much. And I think we can all tell that this is that this is like nonsense because she went from demanding reparations because she went viral in such a cruel way to walking it back and being like, don't, don't harass the developers guys. And of course, by the way, she, she's like deleted. She, she's deleted her account at this point. Right. So it, it's, it's all nonsense. This, this is all just nonsense. I think. Oh yeah. This is, how, this is how, how I discovered she deleted her account. I was searching for information on this. I found this tweet, clicked on it. Realized, oh, her account's gone. Yeah. Account no longer exists. Yeah. Let's see, like, here. Like, look at this person. You did an amazing job, and I'm sorry that such a vocal minority made these disgusting jokes. Thank you for being a part of our community. Listen, the jokes are disgusting, but they're jokes, all right? Jokes are allowed, okay? Jokes are definitely allowed, okay? slide into his dms already okay hold on chat chat let's be let's be 100 fucking clear here okay this person are you actually calling them a he like w this person looks like a woman guys like what the fuck thanks for the fiver brian i finally got twitter sent me a video with the confederate statues uh, thanks man i'll take a look at it We're going to do a poll because I'm kind of curious. All right. All right. How do you use pronouns? Biological sex only or how they look, how they look passing. There you go. Yeah, okay, they're male, guys. Of course they're male. But they look they look like a woman, which is why I say she. All right. Let's see. I guarantee you the poll is probably gonna be like hardcore. Oh, how they look is gonna win. I'm surprised actually. So here's the thing. So so Chris Davis says, looks like a dude trying really hard. That's the point though, right? Isn't that the point? Is that they've tried really hard and now they kind of look, they kind of look female. So it's like, you know what? Okay. I'll give it to you. You know, you've managed to carry yourself over the finish line, you know, biological sex only or how they look passing. I'm, I'm actually surprised that uh, it wasn't the other way around. I thought it was going to be one third saying um, how they look and two thirds saying biological sex only, but okay. You guys are great. Can we go with how they behave? Sure. Sure. I thought your fan base was based, Dev. I'm a centrist, dude, and you know it. 
It's the jaw and the limb proportions. See, here's the thing. BG Noise says they are a dude trying really hard. Okay, fair enough, right? Fair enough. But nonetheless, I go by how they look, right? And actually, we'll settle this conversation right now. Okay? We'll settle this conversation right now. Okay? New poll. New poll. What pronouns for this person? He, him, she, her. So now I'm curious, okay? So chat, what pronouns for this individual here? Start poll. Is it he, him, or is it she, her? Also, also t type in the chat. What are their pronouns? What pronouns will you be using? <laughs> we must do it, Dranzer. Yes. <laughs> Everyone's saying he. Yeah. So this is this is a biological female, guys. It's in fact one of the most famous female to male transsexuals out there. And by the way, the trans activists hate this person. They call them transphobic constantly. But yeah, this is obviously, this is obviously he, him, because this person's earned it. It, t it takes a lot of work to go from a biological female to looking like this, which is why, by the way, I don't respect everyone who's like, I'm a man now, please. It's like, no, no, you're fucking not. Fuck you. But this person is. This person did it. Cool tattoo is now a guy. <laughs> I call him bro. Buck gender. <laughs> uh, Five dollars from Drac has never got past the nose of a lot of trans women. It looks plastic, both with Blair White and this one. I got a big nose, so I don't care. I'm used to big noses. I got a big Jew nose. Roll 2d10 and consult the pronoun table. Thanks, lives in those walls. Thank you. Um, Tara Shavenko, $10. Question regarding passing trans people. If a relationship is possible, when should the trans fact be revealed before too much time and money for courting is spent? It may, it's got to come out like sometime on the first date. It's got to. The before pick. I don't know what Buck Angel's before pick looks like. Hold on. Let's see. See, here's here's the thing. Uh, C. Dranzer, you said, must we use the must we use the the Buck Angel defense? I know you were sighing there because you know that it's actually true, and it, it's a good defense. That's why you don't like it, but it is real. Okay. There's not really any good pictures as far as I can tell. And I don't want to go hunting them, frankly. But anyway, that's the situation here. This person, um, they did, they did a voice for a Dead by Daylight character. Seemed like a, a completely fine, normal person. The the trans jokes, maybe they're mean, but they are just jokes. And they responded by demanding reparations and immediately backing out of it, saying, don't don't harass the developer, probably because she realized how fucking bad it looked. And then she deleted her account. So it's like, good job. I guarantee you, if you just let them make their jokes, it would have it, it would have been a 15 minute thing. It would have it would have been it would it would have been gone in less than a day. But you had to turn it into a big thing and then start demanding more money out of the company you worked for. And now you've probably ruined your career. 
And it, it wasn't the trolls that ruined it. It was your reaction to the trolls that ruined it. All right. So good job, lady. Here, you know what? You know what, guys? If you want the uh, the best, if you guys want the best argument as to why trans women are women, this is entirely femoid behavior. All right. No man would demand reparations for, from being like teased on the internet. 